I'm riding up to Queensland today for my first ride in 2018 with Mr. Rosevich. Oh, the guy called Chris is going to join us, who I met through Facebook, etc. I've been having a few chats about having a ride together. What is it? 910 at Rathdowney. Oh, it's it's uh, 810, I suppose, if you're from Queensland. We got Chris, uh, some bastard with us, and uh, yeah. <laughs> and I figured out, out a route on the map, so basically we're going to get lost. Going to get lost. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just met you. <laughs> all right, all good. Yep. Let's be off. What a beautiful day. I know. First cranky adventure and out for the day. Woohoo! With the ring in called Chris. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure to be riding with you guys. Yeah, great to meet you too, mate. Yeah. We've got two awesome bikes and a Suzuki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> Yeah, the first time I saw it was with you. Oh yeah. Is that the bad? I know. I'd never seen, you know, the Falls Drive or anything. Didn't know all that was up here. Definitely looks a, a bit different from that day we took photos up here. Yeah. Coming out of the rain and mist. Yeah, that's right. Alright, kill the ABS. Woohoo! Have you been up this road before? No, just spotted it on the map. <laughs> yep. You can turn to anything. Yeah. Past, past experience. This is true. Looks like we're going to somebody's barn. Aha. Got a number and uh, hmm. What is? Yeah, there is a. You can go back and around and meet the same road. This is looking a bit unused. Well, this looks a bit more promising. Like it might actually go somewhere. Look at all that, it's beautiful. Yeah. Look familiar, Bill? Oh, shit. Yeah, Holy shit, a bit too extreme maybe. Oh, once you let some air out it'll be okay. Oh, I have to pee now, of course. Alright, well, we come up a really nasty hill, let the tyres down a bit. We're not sure whether we'll do all of this, because it's pretty <laughs> severe. That bit was quite interesting. Yeah. Uh, I should be a little bit 
Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's, I keep saying it over and over again. This is, this is why I don't have a pure road bike. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, here we go. A little rough bit. Um, yeah, I think this is where it starts getting steep. Uh, doesn't look as bad as what we did before, though. No. Uh, that looks not too bad. Keep going. It's out a bit. I didn't think it does. It's a little bit of space happening. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, boy. surprised really well one factor was I'm really slow and I was leading now I've had the problem before that first gear on the X is quite low and riders and other bikes need to pass me to keep up the momentum but basically I'm really slow now here comes Bill gaining on me frankly riding better than me standing on the pegs a little bit faster to maintain traction but as he approached me he had to back off lost that traction got thrown into a turn and the bike skidded out from under him. There was minor damage to the bike but the fall was hard enough to wind him being sideways downhill on a very steep slope and this was enough to shake his confidence up a bit. We wisely decided to turn around and poor Bill went down another two times. Still winded, confidence shaken on a stupidly steep, very loose and gravelly slope, it was really no surprise. I almost made it all the way down and then my lack of experience caught up. When I go into a rear wheel skid, the bike always goes left. I have no idea why, and this situation freaked me out when I could see an intimate concentration with a tree was on the cards. So I stomped on that brake like it was a giant spider coming at me in the shower. Oh, I'm dead. I know all I had to do was let go of the brake, go faster, regain control and steer out of it. I didn't know how. So that's something I'm going to have to learn, and that's one of the several reasons behind my decision to go on an adventure riding skills course. Thanks. Quite soon. All right, that was uh, adventurous as fuck. <laughs> Apart from Chris, who couldn't be bothered falling off. Uh, I'll try harder, guys. Definitely adventurous as fuck that was. All right, all good. Yeah. <laughs> you could go the left way, or you can go this way. When we came in. No, different. No, this is definitely different. different. That's a human road there. Oh, fuck it, I know. <laughs> Let's go see where it goes. Slow, wet cows, right? <laughs> There's a town in Ireland full of women you could say that about. Well, yeah, I've got oh. that big topic too, one of those. <laughs> I have to remember my tyres are a bit flat. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But it looks that lookout would have been up somewhere on that thing.
stop here? Can we stop here? All right, that was a nice little lunch stop yep. on whatever this is road's called, junction with Fletcher Road. Not even sure what this road's called. No, slow wet cows, wasn't it? Yeah. We're going to go down road, we don't know what they are. Slow wet cows road. Bloody beautiful mate. And of course I'm talking about you Bill. I know, I know. So this is what it's like with an action cam and now I'm going to get my other camera out. So third time in White Swamp Road, both the first times, the camera failed on the front, so I've got two pointing forward this time. Well, I'll let you guys go past, you've been in the dust the whole time. I'll have a turn. <laughs> All right. That's a nice jersey. Oh yeah, time for a flyby. Managed to turn the ABS back on the fly a few times now. I have to kill the engine while I'm moving, but it works. Ah, Gotta be tempting to have a shandy at Woodenbone. Can't park there. Oh, I always do. So that you can't? Yeah. Parking. Shady parking, see? Your shady, right. shady character. <laughs> well, yeah. Right. Well, that was an exciting day's riding. I'm going to ride home for about an hour on the highway now. Probably get rained on a couple of times. I won't really care because it's very hot. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks, as always, for watching. If you ride, ride safe. And hopefully I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>